what is up you guys so i decided to film a makeup tutorial for you all so first i always start by priming my face and then i go in with a brightening concealer this la pro concealer is an og from back in the day you can find it at pretty much any beauty supply store and i use a beauty blender adjacent tool i think this one is actually from beauty bakery and then I go in with my Laura Mercier powder in the darker shade and I set my face with the powder. For my oily girls, most of us learned this technique from Jackie Ina and it really makes a huge difference in how long your makeup lasts. And then I go in with the Milk Hydro Grip spray and that sets it in even more now it's time for foundation this was my first time using the makeup by mario foundation i like to apply my foundation with a brush initially because it gives me the coverage that i'm looking for and the finish that i'm looking for i did not realize that i only needed a little bit so probably like two or three pumps at max now i'm doing my eyebrows i love the fenty beauty brow mvp pencil it has the pencil on one end and then a brush to help you you know guide the unruly brows into submission and I like to take my time with this process because brows really do make or break the look in my opinion and so I take my time this is sped up for entertainment purposes <laughs> And I really like how the shape turned out for today's look. Then I go in with the same LA Pro Concealer and I carve out my eyebrows. Um, I like it because it's not too highlighting and so it's not giving the halo effect. It just makes it look clean and sharp. And I bring some of that concealer down onto my eyelids. Now, what I should have done is actually primed my eyelids with the concealer, like officially, but I didn't do that, child. I didn't do it. Eyebrow gel. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's get into this Rem Beauty uh, cheek and lip stick because why is not why is nobody talking about this? Especially the black girls. Why why y'all not talking about this? It's great. The Supreme Mauve's Eyeshadow Palette by Artist Couture. I love this palette. I, I don't know. Artist Couture just has my heart when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and their silky lip oil. I, I didn't use it in this video, but get into it, okay? So I used two, actually three shades from the palette to create this eye look. As you see here, get into the pigment, get into it. So uh, I wanted to create like a metallic pink look to go with my hair. Well, not to go with, to complement my hair and also the outfit that I was wearing. And I think it turned out pretty good. Wing liner. I don't do wing liner often because it's a struggle. This one turned out pretty good, but it's, it, it'd be a struggle. The steel liner is, is really good though. Makes it a little bit easier to do your wing. Mascara, L'Oreal Telescopic. I know there was controversy <laughs> in the TikTok streets, but I love it. Capri Marie Cosmetics with the eyelashes. And then I go in and I start the process of highlighting in my highlight points. I like to do it um, in my cupid's bow of my nose and then contouring with the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in Espresso. I do that around my forehead. I got a, you know, a little four and a half head. Not quite a five head, but a four and a half head. I do like to do a little light contour on my nose. Um, oh yeah, my, my eyelash glue was drying <laughs> as I did all of this. So I'm putting my lashes on. I actually ended up having to take it off and then reapply because it, it was being wonky. But continuing the contour process with that same Fenty Beauty Matte Stick. And now going in with the Too Faced Concealer to highlight under the eyes. Using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. Using my contour brush to blend out the contour. And then I am setting under eye 
every pretty, pretty much everywhere I highlighted with the concealer, I am using the Sephora translucent powder. And it sets things in place without, you know, that white cast. Mario, Mario be knowing what he doing with these products. This is the bronzer. I think it's the bronzer or contour powder. And I use that to set wherever I put my contour, my cream contour. This Dior Backstage Powder, where is it? I can't find it anywhere now. And I'm like, when it's done, what am I going to do? What am I going to do, child? I set my cream blush with this Pat McGrath Powder Blush. And then I'm setting my face with Charlotte Tilbury and highlighting with this Fenty Beauty Highlighter. Along the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Lips, we're using the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in molasses which is always sold out i was trying to get another one for or during the sephora sale but that one is 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 out of stock indefinitely rem beauty plumping lip gloss i love this stuff and then i set with the one size on till dawn mattifying spray and this is the look guys tell me what you think of it and i'll see you guys next time